Hey everybody, welcome back to greatchow.wordpress.com. This is Jason, and welcome to Pisa, Italy. We're here in Pisa, Italy to make sure that the Leaning Tower of Pisa stays put. It doesn't go anywhere, but while we're doing that, we're making sweet Italian meatballs. These meatballs are super delicious, flavorful, and they pack a ton of flavor. It's a combination of ground beef, sweet Italian sausage, herbs, and spices. We're going to be pressure cooking it in our Instant Pot pressure cooker for 12 minutes in a sweet Italian basil and red sauce that we will also be creating today. We'll be using a Cabernet Sauvignon, which is a red wine, and this red wine gives absolute depth of flavor to our red sauce. At the very end of the video, I will also introduce you to my Roman style three pound mega meatball which is a novelty item that you could also make in a pressure cooker. And I'll give you the link to that at the very end of the video. So let's get to the meatballs. To begin the meatball construction process, we combine three fourths of a cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs with one third cup whole milk. We stir that up and we allow it to sit for five minutes so that the breadcrumbs soften up. Five minutes are up, we add half a cup of white onion, one jumbo egg, half a cup grated Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon chopped jarred garlic, quarter cup fresh parsley, then we add one and a half pounds of ground beef, 85%. We also add in our one pound of sweet fennel sausage. What I do is now I begin to mix. Okay, I use a folding technique. The folding technique ensures that I incorporate all of my ingredients. Okay, and it's a nice mix. See, when you fold, you get a nice, light, fluffy mixture, which will ensure that you get a nice, fluffy meatball. See, I could tell that these are absolutely nice, seasoned, light and airy meatballs. Look at that. Perfect. And now that our meatball mixture is formed, we're going to roll out our meatballs. Just, you know, take, take a nice palmful, okay, lightly, just roll them out. Okay, in your palm, you don't have to press hard. You make nice little meatballs. All right, just keep rolling them out. These are gonna be absolutely delicious. Okay, there's our meatballs. They look absolutely beautiful. Excellent. All right, so let's start that sweet basil tomato sauce. All right, everybody, let's begin this sweet basil red sauce. So we begin by turning our Instant Pot onto saute. We're gonna let that get hot. It's gonna read hot. Then we begin adding our ingredients. Instant Pot reads hot now, now we start sauteing. We begin by using two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. After about 10 seconds, we add in our teaspoon of garlic, half a cup onion, Teaspoon tomato paste. Teaspoon kosher salt. We stir it together. We allow we allow the tomato paste, onions, and garlic and olive oil. A little saute time, about two minutes, two hour tomato paste, onions and garlic. So this way the onions start getting translucent, breaking down, freeing some of those sugars. Our initial two minutes are up. We've been sauteing our garlic, onions, and tomato paste. And now we add Cabernet Sauvignon. This is the red wine. We are going to allow, mmm, smells delicious. We're allowing that alcohol to burn off. So we're left with the remnants of the fruits that are in that red wine. This is what's going to give us that depth of flavor. Look at that beautiful color. It's burning off that alcohol. Now we're adding two 28-ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. 
with basil. Once you add the two cans of tomato sauce, give a really good stir because you want that saute of the garlic and the onions and the tomato paste to incorporate into your sauce. Okay, once you give a stir, throw in half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one third cup sugar, one third cup sweet fresh basil, teaspoon onion salt, tablespoon dry parsley, three bay leaves. Look at how beautiful all of those ingredients are together. All right, so give a stir. Give a stir. Look at how beautiful that looks. You stir good, you get the bottom because there's so many flavors that have been sauteed initially with the garlic and the onions. So make sure you get all of that stirred up. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me get the meatballs because we're going to be putting them in in a moment. Since we are pressure cooking and the thing that creates our steam for pressure is water, we need to make sure that we have enough water. So we need to add one cup of filtered water. Okay? That will create enough steam to create the pressure that we need. Alright everybody, I have brought out the meatballs. They look absolutely beautiful. Then we just place them, we just drop them into our sauce all the way around the Instant Pot. Our sauce is nice and bubbly right now. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, that was the last meatball. Now take our lid, seal it into place, put the venting on seal the lids locked into place and the venting is locked in the sealed position we're going to turn instant pot off the saute we're going to put it on manual high pressure we drop the time down to 12 minutes perfect after the 12 minutes are up we're going to vent and then remove the meatballs All right, reveal time. Let's see what we have done. Unlock. Boom. Look at those beautiful meatballs. Ah, oh, the house smells awesome. These meatballs are so soft. Ah, oh, look at this. This is beautiful. All right, let's get these meatballs out. They are very, very soft. Super tender. Before we give a real big stir to incorporate all of the ingredients, try and get uh, a ladle and a, uh, a little cup. And on the very top, there will be like a layer of fat, okay? You want to just try and skim some of that out because you don't want your sauce to be too oily. Okay, it top of the sauce, and then you just put your push your ladle in like I'm showing you, just a little bit. Okay, and you could keep doing that, and you could see some of those fats coming out. Okay, you don't have to be perfect, but they do come out. And then once that's out, you give yourself a really good stir. There is liquid gold at the very bottom of this pot. Okay, you want to incorporate all of these ingredients, all of these seasonings. Okay, give a really good stir. You got to get down at the very bottom, the bottom because that's where there are so many flavors hanging out down at the bottom that you just want to be able to bring it up and incorporate throughout. And now you have a beautiful sweet tomato basil red sauce for your meatballs. All of our meatballs are out and they're plated. We could hit them hard with the Parmesan cheese. Okay, you could hit them with the parm. All right. Make the parm fly. All right. I make the Parmesan fly over here. All right. You make the parm fly. Some parsley up on top. 
All right. Look at how beautiful that is. These are fantastic meatballs. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so there you have it. Delicious Italian meatballs that we pressure cooked in our sweet basil tomato sauce. So this is an excellent recipe, and as a pressure cooker owner, you may want to consider putting this one in your recipe box. Also, the Leaning Tower pizza has stayed put. It hasn't gone anywhere. So great job on the meatballs, and great job keeping that in place as well. So I'm going to conclude here in Pisa, Italy. I just want to say thank you for joining me and keep it fresh and keep it wonderful in your kitchen. If you like this recipe and you're watching this video on YouTube, I've incorporated the link to greatchow.wordpress.com in the description area for easy access to the recipes and directions. Also, if you like this video, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I just want to welcome my new subscribers Believe me, I know you're there, and it's been great communicating with you as well. So, if you want to try my Roman Mega Meatball, here's the link. Thank you, I'll see you next time. If you want, you can make your own, just go to greatchild.wordpress.com. It's just so juicy.